Here's question number five on the review. So here's the balanced equation. First thing I do that's write out a balanced equation. You're saying you have 15 grams of lithium phosphate, 20 grams of calcium chloride. So I'm gonna turn those into moles to figure out my limiting reactant. So lithium phosphate in the periodic table weighs 116 grams per mole. So 15 divided by 116 is 0.13 moles of that. 20 grams of calcium chloride, it's 111 grams per mole. So 20 divided by that is 0.18 moles of that. Neither one of those. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill out a BCA table, whether we need it or not. Uh, these are supposed to be in a two to three ratio. Well, that means this is one and a half times more than that. So let's figure out if this is more than one and a half times more than, than 0.13 or less than that. So if you take 0.13 times 1.5, that is 0.19. So we don't have enough of this. This is not one and a half times bigger. Or I could divide this by this and see if it's 1.5 times bigger. So this is my limiting reactant. That's one of the questions it's asking you. Um, and what's another percent yield of calcium phosphate? Percent yield of this. Let's figure out how much of this is made. Um, so we know this is going to go down by 0.18. It's going to be zero. To get from this to this, it's a three to two ratio. So I would divide by three and multiply by two times two thirds. So 0.18 divide by three times two. We're going to use 0.12 moles of this. There's 0.1 mole or 0.01 mole of excess is all. So not much. I don't think I could even ask you that. Really need to get over to this because it wants to know percent yield of that. So um, if we were going from, if this is going down by 0.18, it's a three to one ratio. So this is one third of that. So divided by three, this is going up by, we're gonna make 0.06 moles of that. So we can multiply that by the molar mass of calcium phosphate. One second here. Molar mass calcium phosphate is 310. Molar mass is 310, so let's take those moles of calcium phosphate. We know that a mole is 310 grams in the periodic table. And you get a mass, I'll give you a mass down here, of 18.6 grams. That's how many grams of calcium phosphate would or should be made. Okay, that's your theoretical. Theoretical yield. That's how much calcium phosphate should be made from the stuff that's given. Well, what's another percent yield? And percent yield is actual over theoretical. It tells you the actual. They actually got 15.9 when they did the reaction. They actually got 15.9 grams of calcium phosphate. They should have got 18.6. So your percent yield is actual over theoretical. You get your percent. Ends up being about 85.4% yield. Um, it does ask for mass of excess reactant left over after the reaction. Well, we have 0.01 moles of excess, 116 grams per mole. So 0.01 times 116 is about 1.1 grams of excess, approximately.